struck another Houthi target early on Saturday. Well, with me now is Saeed Shahata from BBC Arabic. Saeed, thank you for joining us on the program. Today, we are seeing that the New York Times is reporting that between 20 to 30 percent of the Houthi capabilities were damaged in these airstrikes. What can we read into that and how are the Houthis likely to respond? This report <coughs> showing uh, the strength and the power of the Houthi military capabilities. Uh, American officials talked to the New York Times and said uh, targeting the Houthi uh, military uh, basis is more difficult than was expected because the American intelligence, the Western intelligence, didn't collect enough uh, information uh, uh, along the past years because the Houthi uh, <coughs> survived more than eight years uh, for a bombardment from the Saudi alliance in Yemen and they came stronger with more missiles and drones and even they have like some factories to produce this stuff and they sus suspect that Iranian supporting them technically and funding them by money but Iranian uh, denying that. Uh, this 20 or 30 percent is destroyed or damaged but still they have at least three quarters of their capabilities and the potential response uh, makes uh, shipping companies not yet feeling safe to go through the Red Sea and using other ways and this have implications on the prices of oil and the price of oil increased two days ago four percent because of that so uh, this report showing that the Houthi is not done yet and the American and the British saying they only to deter them deterrence uh, not to launch another attacks but I think the Houthi are defined to uh, challenge the American because they, have, they believe in uh, uh, a just cause which is uh, the people in Gaza and calling for the ceasefire and more aid to Gaza and so they put a condition for that and uh, they don't, there is no any indicators that they are going to be back off and so the, the problem is and the fear is the risk of escalation even the whole uh, like effort by the American other countries to contain the conflict in the Middle East inside Gaza but uh, the situation in the Red Sea is, is problematic. And, and, and as you mentioned there the UN and others calling for this crisis not to escalate any further but seeing the airstrikes we've seen in the last few days how likely is that that it won't escalate? Uh, unfortunately, it, you know there is no any response yet from the uh, from the Houthi, but there is expectation for a response to to target some American bases and British because they said they are legitimate targets for them after the strike. Uh, some uh, Yemeni cities, there is like condemnation from uh, Oman uh, for resorting to the uh, military uh, military action, and they said the Oman, uh, according to Oman, they said uh, the attack on some ships led the usage of the uh, military and weapons of the West but killing more than 20,000 people in Gaza didn't move the conscience of the Western world to even call for a statement to uh, cease fires. The GCC chief also Justin Bidet we said need for uh, restraint and avoiding casualties in, in Yemen because the Yemeni people suffered over more than eight years and people killed uh, and also the United Nations got terrorists. So there is calls for that but there is no indicators that will not be uh, uh, not be uh, escalated in the next few days. Thank you very much, Said Shahata of BBC Arabic. Thank you for joining us.